Josh, Kent, it's lovely to see you again, mate. Now, you've been, you are Josh Kenny. Josh Kenny, the indeed. god of shotguns, should uh, we say? I wouldn't go quite that far, but. <laughs> Okay, now, obviously, I've known you, you joined the circuit 2013, saw you yep. coming in when you were up at North Coats, when you started coming out with this fairly fast trigger finger, which was quite quick, and you missed targets at that stage, which we used to laugh at, but you then All come the back, yeah. All the time. But you had fun, that was the most important part, you having trigger time, mate. Yeah. Since then, you've subsequently gone on and on and on, and you've motored away. So just for, for people looking at this interview, tell us now what you've achieved since 2013, mate. Uh, so I uh, I was the 2015 Junior World Champion. I won that at the World Shoot in Italy, in Agna. Uh, since then, I've become the European Open Champion for three years running. I've been the Northern Irish Shotgun Champion for the, well, since it's been running. Multiple years now, isn't it? Yeah, multiple yeah. British, British Masters Championships, British Opens Championships, English Championships. Um, I went for a period of about two years without actually losing the competition, so I've done okay over that the past few years. That wasn't annoying at all Not watching so you constantly <laughs> going out there. Uh, but the, the most important part is, you, obviously now you're, you're a sponsor, shooter by Benelli, aren't you? Yes, yes, you I'm are? on Team Benelli now, yes. Yeah, and so you travel around Europe, I'm, I'm afraid I've seen you going overseas and doing training and bits and pieces like yep, that, haven't you? Yep, I do, I do sort of my own personal training, so people ask me to come and teach them, you know, go over to their range, go teach them how I do things, so I do that for people as well. I've been to the Philippines, uh, Ukraine, Italy, all over, all over the place doing that sort yeah. of thing as well. And, and now this is going to be the really annoying part, and I know the answer to this one, and you are how old now? Uh, I'm 22 in December. 22 in December. So anybody watching this is going to absolutely hate you with a passion. The fact that you are just a, you are a very credited natural shooter, which is a brilliant to see. And seeing you come up through, uh, you're in a league of your own. I'm like that's why I go and play in open because I don't want to play anywhere near you. you know, <laughs> now, obviously, the thing which we brought you on here for is that because you, I've seen you shoot and I've watched you shoot and you've grown as I said earlier. On, but now you've developed your own thing. So Jay Kenny, you've created. A brand. Now, if I remember correctly, you brought out this new auto lifter, yes. which was at the time state of the art. It wasn't quite ready for um, France. I remember you and I having conversations about it. But subsequently, after that, you've now developed it. And now, do you want to take a show us what it does, how it works, and what? Tell me through. Take us through, mate. Yeah, cool. So, this is my Benelli here. It's built by Tarrant Tactical Innovations out of California. They're the same guys that build all the John Wick guns. Yep. So you know, every, obviously, everybody knows the John Wick films. Yeah. Very, very popular. And the M2. Exactly. So yeah. the auto is basically. What it does is most M1s, M2s, most, most uh, semi automatic shotguns in general, the way you would load them typically is you'd load one round into the chamber, close the bolt and then continue to load through yep. the magazine. Yep. What the autoloader does is it allows you to load straight in through the magazine and it will chamber the first round automatically. So it's a big time saving in the practical market. Hell yeah. It's also very useful for pigeon shooters and thing like, things like that. You know, if you're in a pigeon blind, you've got plenty of birds coming up overhead. It's very, very useful to load straight through the bottom all the time, carry on shooting, load straight through the bottom, carry shooting. It's a very, very quick and efficient method of loading. I was going to say, from as you know, I used to shoot modified prior to obviously moving to the dark side and open. The the problem you always had is when you were doing the option three starts, you was, do you load off your match saver? Did you, were you quick enough? Some people were loading off their forearms. Everybody had different techniques. But this is now a complete, this is a game changer, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. So it just makes everything a lot more simple. It makes your life a lot more simple. It's also very useful for, you know, when you're mid-stage and you happen to have a mistake and you know that the gun runs empty. Yeah. You no longer have to fiddle about throwing the gun over different ways just to try and load one round into the chamber and continue how you would normally. Now it's just you load everything straight through the bottom using the same techniques you would normally do throughout the, the course of fire anyway so okay. it makes your life a lot a lot easier and a lot more simple basically well that that's what as practical that's what you want to do you want to take eliminate any of those issues don't exactly. you exactly and if you do have the situation where your gun goes dry through top ups or bad plan stage planning or anything having that speed is everything when it comes to practical isn't exactly it? now obviously where where are you going where, where's your plans now because obviously you you, you brought it you brought out this auto loaders mm -hmm. have you got other mpd coming down the down the train tracks yeah so at the minute we're working on auto loaders for the remington versa maxes as well that's been quite a popular option uh, so that's the, actually opinion. the second largest gun up on close to the 1301 isn't it yes yeah, so the 1301 actually came in third on our, on our list of priorities right. so really? it, yeah we had a po we put a poll out and we asked people you know what do you want an auto loader for and on the top of the list was the versa max yeah second on that list was the Berettas and then the Stogas followed on after that so that's the order in which we're we're planning to go down so right now the Remington is in development that's going very very well it's getting Good. getting close to being finished um, and then once we've got the Remington out then we'll be able to work on the Berettas. When do you think you may have the Versamax coming out so anybody who's looking at this who's thinking oh hang on I'm itching to get my hands on these auto lifters? Uh, providing there's no curveballs thrown our way you know you know where there will be in manufacturing yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> so if everything goes goes according to plan everything goes well maybe about two months okay that's brilliant 
so that it may be in time for next se season, that March I'm hoping, game draw. I'm hoping so, yeah? yeah. And then we'll be begin development on the Berettas within that sort of period. Good. So there's always there's going to be new MPD coming out. Exactly. Now, what about your, your career? Where, where are you, what are you planning on doing now? Well, obviously, you've, you've, you've got a rack of trophies and gongs all over the place. You must be getting bored now. Yeah. Um, where are you going from here, Josh? Uh, so my, ne my next um, goal from here is the World Championships. I would like to get a World Championship under my belt by the time I'm 25, so I've got one more opportunity to do that, obviously. Well, um, 26. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully that's my, that's my next big goal, is to yeah. get a World Championship under my name. And a few more national European titles here and there, maybe, not too sure. Uh, just basically see where I go, just keep trying to improve myself and push myself a little bit further. Well, you've definitely proven that since 2013. I tried. Now, obviously, just if people wanted to get one of your autoloaders, whether that being for the M2, the Vesa Max, or the 1301 when they come out, mm -hmm. where would they go and get one of these, Josh? So we have a website, it's j-kenny.com. Yeah. Uh, we can get them you. You can order them on the website, we'll send them to your door. It's just a drop-in simple replacement parts kit, so there's no permanent modifications. I was going to say, so you don't even have to fettle it? No, no, no. You normally have no, to do that, literally you? strip the gun down, take the parts out, put our parts in, and it's ready to go from there. Sweet, okay. And these are available now? There's no, is there a delay in them at all? No, no, they're ready to ship instantly as soon as you order it. We, so have, we have models available for the Benelli M1, 2, 3, for the Breda B12Is, the Frankie Affinities as well, currently all, all have all loaders for them. Well, I don't think anybody's going to get bored of being able to know which ones they're going to be able to get to. <laughs> I think, obviously, you're working with Corey, and he's obviously working with you doing that. Yep, so Corey Smith is my business partner. He's sort of more the marketing and sales side of the business. Yep. I, I deal with all the technical side of things, so yep. we, we chop and change together to get help the business running. Good on it. Well, in that case, Josh, obviously, again, it's, an, it's a pleasure having you here at Gunner and TV. So pleasure from, being from us, thank you very much indeed. And with yeah. this, massive good luck with all the auto lifters, but most of all with the accreditation 2012, well, it's 2020 now, isn't it? Well, yeah. Will be the Philippines, and I hope they'll be there with, as part of that with you, mate. All right, lovely. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you.